Steve, I'm blind, and I'm back from E3 2019, and here's my first impressions of Marvel's Avengers by Square Enix. Now, I got to be able to go into sort of the uh, demo that, uh, that they actually kind of a really cool booth. They actually had it sort of set up in what in this sort of thing right here, the Avengers Day or A Day, uh, and you actually like, had this really kind of cool bunker sort of thing open, that the doors would open up, and you get to walk in, you get to sit down, you had headphone put headphones on. You were given a little do like a dossier of each of the uh, Avengers, uh, like kind of like their sort of their um, literally their dossier of, of of their stats, and then also you got like a cool uh, lanyard of the A Day uh, sort of like like the fact you got to be an attendee of the of A Day, uh, and you got to see sort of a 20 minute demo. Now I was actually in a demo that with a bunch of accessibility advocates that was kind of brought in by E3, uh, and that thanks to them for being able to bring me out. Uh, but this was sort of uh, like our first de demo, first be able to, uh, appointment to be able to see this game. Um, unfortunately, I will say this uh, just kind of right off the hop in regards to accessibility. Um, they didn't have subtitles turned on in this one, um, where I was told that actually that, that happened the night before because they actually did have uh, a special uh, deaf or hard of hearing a demo specifically for uh, those who were attending E3 to be able to check out the demo. And they apparently had subtitles on uh, and inter uh, interpreters to be able to interpret what was actually happening. Uh, um, or basically, yeah, they had si uh, ASL interpreters for them. Um, but this one, we only had ASL interpreters. So I'm not sure kind of why they didn't sort of have subtitles turned on. So I couldn't be able to see what, what that was like. Um, but I've been told that actually that it's it's okay. It's pretty decent, but I can't give my sort of my uh, sort of first impressions of that uh, of that. So I'm only going to kind of give from based on the gameplay that they were able to show. I will say this. I wish they showed this in the trailer. I wish that they had a, they have little snippets of it uh, in this sort of trailer I'm playing behind me. Uh, but it didn't show a lot in the actual E3 reveal trailer. You kind of had to see and go to this demo in order to be able to see more. And I kind of wish that they showed this. I'm hoping that they actually release this uh, this video, like or at least the the demo, the full gameplay demo, so that people can be able to see what it uh, what it looks like or what it looks like, and being able to play with the different Avengers. So. Basically, you get the the, the whole dem uh, demo of the regards to story is that uh, this is the attack on San Francisco during A Day, and you get to see the aftermath of it, and you get to sort of see different characters, and pretty much every single character on how they fight and what they uh, what they use. It looks like that it's kind of they're kind of going with a very basic sort of combat style that's universal to all the Avengers. So it looks like that every Avenger kind of has a special attack and then also kind of just some basic attacks and just can, and it's dependent on which character you're in and, and sort of what tactics you can use. Uh, it just sort of seems like it's the same kind of thing over and over again. However, I wasn't able to sort of get my hands on it. So I don't know how that feels when it's when they're playing, but I did like at least that, that each character, you don't have to learn a new set of controls in order to be able to uh, figure out how to be able to play th that character. Um, maybe a little bit in regards to how the specials sort of work, but it looked like it was pretty universal across the board. That may deter some from wanting to be able to play because they think it might be too simple of control scheme, but for those with disabilities, that might actually be a little bit more of an improvement for them. Um, so you were able to, uh, you start off with Thor and you get to sort of see him wield his wield his hammer and get basically just knock down of enemies left and right uh, as he's protecting people uh, and kind of breaking down barriers and kind of uh, letting people escape while he attacks other, uh, other people uh, uh, as they're kind of shooting at him and kind of attack him and then you sort of jump into uh, I think it was Iron Man was next it looked like it was pretty cool to be able to fly and be able to kind of use your uh, your uh, pulse cannons on your, or on your hands uh, looked like that was kind of neat uh, and then actually my favorite uh, honestly of all the, of all the characters was Hulk because it looked like it was like really really cool to be able to just smash things uh, and in that demo yeah I didn't I couldn't tell if you were able to do this yourself or if it was a cinematic but that little part in the in the demo where you actually get to see the Hulk carry a, a hold a tank up above the air and just kick the guy off to the side. I don't know if that's something you just do or if that's part of the cinematic, but it looked kind of funny and it was cool. But what was great too is that, uh, it, uh, it, actually it's this part right here that you can kind of see in the background. Uh, but what I liked actually, cool, what was neat was that as you're running, you can actually run against like walls or like sort of barriers that uh, kind of are around you. So like essentially you're, like in this, you were kind of running off the side of trucks, transport trucks and buses, just trying to be able to jump from one uh, like kind of gap in the bridge to the other. Uh, that looked actually kind of neat it was kind of look like it was kind of fun um natasha or black widow 
looks kind of interesting. It looked like there's a little bit more of like kind of like a, a hand to hand martial uh, arts kind of combat mode because essentially you're fighting the Taskmaster. There was some actually uh, a period where you're actually kind of on, like on Taskmaster's back and you're just basically just punching him. So it looks like it's kind of like a QTE, like a quick time event. I couldn't tell if you were able to, you had to push or hold uh, certain buttons, but it looked like you had to push a certain, uh, buttons at certain times. So that I don't know if that's a repetitive motion we'll be able to have if you have any issues with it in regards to accessibility, but it looks like that's you have to time it just right. Uh, so that might deter some. But uh, it looked, it didn't look like it was too difficult to build to sort of. Uh to be able to kind of figure out and and uh, and get past it. But then when you're actually doing the fighting, it was kind of neat. You sort of had to try to figure out sort of the tactics, especially how to be able to kind of defeat Taskmaster because, of course, Taskmaster in the lore, he just learns and, and, and does his homework on every sort of enemy that he attacks. So he knows your moves before you, uh, you decide to do them, uh, which is, is, so that's kind of how he is. But so it's a little bit more of a longer fight within the demo itself, but it was kind of neat just to kind of like, there was a little bit of a like dialogue back and forth, uh, equipping this just sort of like, it was just sort of the, the name of the game when it comes to the dialogue in, in this sort of demo. Um, and then you got to see a little bit of Captain America. You get to kind of throw the shield around. That was kind of like sort of the main sort of special attack. You obviously be able to like punch and, and kick stuff, which was like kind of standard. Uh, but it, like at least you can be able to kind of throw the short, uh, the, the, or sorry, the shield around uh, as you're sort of def beating up enemies. Uh, and that's kind of the main Avengers that you got to, you got to sort of see and play. Um, they didn't really show any other sort of Avengers or anyone else in the Marvel Universe that you can be able to play against, but they did say that there are characters that you will be able to eventually unlock. And they didn't really explain how they said it was sort of, it, you could do a single player or co-op. They didn't show really the co-op or the multiplayer side of things. Um, so I couldn't really tell how that was gonna play in. It looked like that this was a pretty on rails, straight single player experience. And so I'm looking forward to see what they're gonna like show uh, in the future. Cause this does come out next year. Um, who knows, this could be just a very early demo. And you know what? I didn't mind it. It's not, it's not Marvel Spider-Man. I'll give you that. Uh, Marvel Spider-Man kind of blew us all like all the way when we first sort of saw it, and it could just get more and more excited as we go. This one kind of felt. Ah, I don't know. Average. I don't know if that's sort of like we're just in an event in Avengers or Marvel overload with the movies, uh, and we just sort of expected a really, really super high standard with Endgame, um, or just in Marvel Spider-Man and of itself. Uh, that I couldn't like. And I have to see more in order to be able to, for me to be able to kind of be super impressed and be like, I gotta get this game. I couldn't tell, and I try to ask actually a dev this of whether or not this ties into Marvel Spider-Man, uh, if there's any sort of like, uh, like, um, uh, crossover or there's an MCU type uh, universe within this sort of uh, Marvel's video game sort of side. I didn't see anything in particular uh, or kind of heard anything in particular in regards to that. Uh, the, de the dev obviously couldn't be able to tell me anything about that, but uh, I'm guessing probably not just because the, the actress who is playing Black Widow, Laura Bailey, is also Mary Jane in Marvel Spider-Man. So I don't know if they're just going to do double duty. I don't know. It, it, my guess is probably not. Maybe a little bit of a a tie there was a tie into the Sparta Man and Spider-Man game where essentially they say oh yeah no they're setting up a West Coast Avengers Tower or West Coast Avengers headquarters uh like so I don't know if that's the tie into this um it, but I don't know it's Marvel you never know when they could just all of a sudden create a cool universe or like multiple parallel parallel dimension type thing it's comic books they could totally do that in video games too they could totally do that in video games as well um so it looked okay I don't know it didn't blow me away didn't really I was like yeah it looks cool well that's kind of it I'd have to play it I really I wanted to be able to play it it just kind of looked pretty simple and and and, uh, and yeah and I didn't really again I didn't really see a lot of accessibility with this one so I have no idea if they're even adding a lot of accessibility however because it's Crystal Dynamics and it is Square Enix and they did an amazing amazing job with Tomb Raider or Shadow of the Tomb Raider this past year I think I have a, like a pretty good idea that they might actually do pretty well. Uh, and I, and uh, like, I have a little bit of knowledge in regards to the accessibility side of things and in the, the advocacy that that may be something that is definitely being worked on. They just couldn't show it for E3. I don't know. I am not 100% certain. Um, but however, they, they've had they've had a pretty good track record in the past for pretty good accessibility. So I'm hoping that that will sort of translate over to Avengers. So we'll see come next year. Anyway, that's it for me. If you want to be able to check out more of my impressions of E3 2019 or any of my other E3 2019 videos, make sure you click on the little info 
for the playlist. Uh, I would really appreciate it. I did some uh, for, like a private, uh, private behind closed doors demo of Cyberpunk 2077, Watch Dogs Legion. Got to have, have my hands on Pokemon Sword and Shield and Link's Awakening and Final Fantasy VII Remake. So there's a lot of videos that I did over this the course of the, of the E3, and I was really excited. So definitely please go check them out. I really really appreciate it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. As always, I remain obedient to yours. Bye.